All right, guys, we're going to be moving back. Hey, we're going to regame game number one between uh, EG In Control and Acer MMA. Uh, I am your caster today, Nathanius, for the Russian Star League. Todd has a tournament to play in, so he had to go. Um, you're going to be stuck with me for a little while. Sorry, but uh, all right, let's get into this game. Spawning in the bottom left position. Same spawns as the previous game. Our Blue Terran MMA went for a Hellion drop. Got shut down but uh, before the drop happened, but this is a regame of game number one, so the score is reset to 0-0, uh, zero, zero, and we're going to have to see how it pans out. Uh, he is Acer's MMA. And spawning in the top right position as the Red Protoss player, playing for Team Evil Geniuses, had a really solid start before the drop. Uh, it's a shame when, when connection issues come into play. I actually just read a tweet from In Control saying that, you know, uh, it, it would be his luck that he would get this kind of edge and uh, his internet would drop, but he is In Control. And this game uh, looks like he wanted to do a, a little bit of an early scout, kind of changed his mind, maybe wanted to make sure that um, I'm not entirely sure. Possibly just uh, accidentally sent the probe out. But it looks like he's going to send it out again. He might be looking to do some kind of Nexus first play. Um, could be worry of early aggression. Uh, or possible uh, in, you know, interesting play from MMA. But we're going to have to see if MMA wants to do another gas opener. Um, we know that you actually can't see this gas from the ramp. So he could be more than free to do so. Um... Probe is going to be crossing the map now, though, so uh, In Control is going to be able to get in before MMA can wall off. He actually has the depot lowered anyway, and it looks like he is not going to be going for a gas play, so MMA already decided to go with a completely different build this game. Uh, but In Control will be able to scout this, so he's going to know that he can get away with a little bit more um, economic build than the last game. Uh, and I, I feel like MMA, he, he's so good, we've seen with his macroing, that uh, there's no real no real reason why he shouldn't just try to power out a bunch of units, um, put himself behind before the disconnect a little bit with that Hellion drop just because the second Nexus was done in time. Didn't really kill too many probes, but uh, Barracks is finished. Uh, command Center should be morphing into an Orbital Command very soon, and uh, In Control's gas is complete, so he's going to get this Cybernetics Core. And the big tell of what he wants to do is going to be uh, whether he gets a second gas, of course, he could go for some kind of tech play. No in control. Big fan of Dark Templar um, in the Protoss versus Terran matchup. I actually recall um, I played him on Heart, Heart of the Swarm ladder the other day, lost to, to Blink. So in control, definitely not afraid to pull out tech builds. Uh, but a MMA's SCV is going to get in and see this. In control, oh, going to skip the Zealot, interestingly enough. So. I feel like MMA uh, might realize this, say, hey, I'm just going to throw an engineering bay down on your natural, and I really wouldn't be surprised if you tried to block this because there's no Zella. And there we go, the engineering bay from MMA. Um, and in control is actually going to see this uh, this one racks expand, so he knows the command center is there. But skipping the zealot and getting the stalker out, he's banking up minerals for an expansion. In control is not going to be able to take this base uh, anytime soon. The stalker DPS is quite low. He, he also needs to make sure that the the stalker doesn't just run away and pass it. Of, of course, he could always try to transition to maybe some three gate pressure, but um, it would hit with a lot less power than any kind of pre planned build. Although there are quite a few chrono boosts going on to the cybernetic score. Um, the soccer's going to come out. He immediately has a second one queued, and In-Control's going to see this engineering base and be like, oh, okay, I'm going to have to kill this. And he's immediately going to throw down three more gateways, so In-Control's actually going to go with the four gate. Um, I, I had to say, not not the worst idea. He has a pylon, and he has a ninja pylon in the natural, so um, this couldn't be better for, for MMA, for In-Control, but MMA is going to see this probe in the back of his mineral line. These marines are going to go after it. In-Control really doesn't want to run towards that pylon. He doesn't want MMA to know he has that there. He's going to sit home. He's going to try to kill this engineering bay because if he runs out, then, then it's going to let MMA know that In-Control wants to be aggressive. Um, but MMA is actually moving out these marines. This uh, He's only leaving one at home, doing a little bit of a check for, for proxy pylons. He doesn't know that... Uh, <laughs> Um, the worst enemy is the one closest to you, and these the additional three gateways are going to be completed just now. Warp gate is complete. Uh, switching into that warp gate mode, two stalkers moving down, three marines out of position to defend this. There are only two in this bunker, and there is a proxy pilot in the main, so in control could just run these stalkers past, warp in a bunch of zealots, and deal a ton of damage. But uh, MMA kind of realizing what's going on here, he's gonna seeing this warp in. He's gonna start a bunker in his natural, might just forfeit the natural expansion. Yep, he's gonna. 
kind of salvage that bunker. And it looks like in control, um, not in a terrible position, but, he, uh, oh, excuse me, M may actually have got an SCV in here to scout this as well. So uh, he knows exactly what is up. And I, I feel like in control, maybe maybe going for three gate pressure um, would have worked. He, he doesn't have the vision up there anymore. Um, and the bunker's complete. So MMA is going to be able to repair this. And there's actually two bunkers. He's building a third. So there's no way in control is going to be able to break this. Um, I, I, I feel like his best bet would honestly be to just sit, sit at the bottom. Uh, maybe try to get a couple of centuries, but in control is just going to GG and give up game one to Acer's MMA. Uh, the engineer may block the four gate. Just a couple of a couple of not so amazing things happening uh, sequentially, and uh, game one is going to go to MMA. So I have to say, uh, in control probably a little frustrated about the le you know the really great position that he was in. Uh, before the regame, and maybe just maybe just said, you know what, screw it, you're going to fast expand, I'm going to go for this push, uh, th this four gate, especially because you engineer may blocked me. So you, you know, sometimes you just gotta you gotta take risks. Didn't pay off for in control, and uh, yeah, MMA is going to start this series off 1-0, and we're going to go to a quick break, and uh, yeah, we'll be right back as soon as the next game is on the way.